Obviously, just coming back and O'Shea, you know, they can contribute as well. So we just got a lot of guys who step up on different nights. You never know whose night's going to be. Uh, you know, we're just playing free. And, you know, like we just keep harping on, we just really enjoy seeing each other succeed. So, you know, it's leading to a lot of success. Rick just talked about Aaron's jump ball in the fourth quarter and how that ignited you guys. How how does one play ignite a team so much like that? Like, what are the how does that actually work on the floor? Yeah, I mean, it's obviously a field thing. Um, you know, obviously, it's you know what gets the crowd into it. Uh, I think that's important, especially when you're playing at home. Uh, but I think every game there's a you know a certain play that you know can change the momentum. You know, what play started a run? You know, whatever that is, a turnover, a hard foul, whatever the case may be. Uh, and I thought that got us going right there um, you know a lot of close the game just building on that what impressed you about Aaron that whole stretch because I mean before that he's got a steal taken away a, a backdoor that, that Dame was trying to get he gets that play rips it away and then he gets I think the, the layup that gets you guys started scoring I mean just how important was everything he did yeah he was big for us down stretch uh, we really needed that layup from him so I was throwing a brick so needed him to score um, you know see the ball go in for us um, you know I think again that's just who he is you know he's a um, trying to think of the right word, um, but it seems like he's always in the right place at the right time. You know, whether it's a big shot, a big stop, a big rebound, um, he just contributes in so many ways. You know, even in ways sometimes that don't show up on the stat sheet. So uh, he's been an amazing addition for this team, and uh, you know, I'm just excited to have him as a teammate. Does it get you a little bit more confidence for that three? I mean, obviously you, you've hit a bunch. It's not like it's your first one, but I mean, does this, 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 it feel like there's a kind of a wave at that point that helps you out, gets you a clean look? For sure, for sure. I mean, um, it, you know, it kind of feels like a weight off your shoulders a little bit. I think, you know, I don't remember what we were up when I hit that three, but the pressure's down a little bit to make that shot. Um, and I had an air ball before that, so that was like my recalibration, you know. Uh, sometimes an ugly miss is needed to, to make the next one. What uh, did you guys sort of make a point to get Isaiah the ball tonight? I mean, just getting him back in there was was there an active point made of like let's reactivate this guy? No, not at all. I think it's just in the flow of the game. Um, and I don't think we're ever making an emphasis to get some of the ball specifically. I think it's just within the flow. I mean, I feel like when guys have their best games, it's just in the flow of the offense. And um, yeah, I thought Isaiah was in the right place at the right time. Uh, you know, he was finishing around the rim, blocking shots, uh, just doing what he does. So it's obviously really exciting. I mean, he's. I just found out he played three games in the last three days, which is crazy, but he's 21. He'll be fine. Um, and uh, he just, you know, like I said, he just contributed in a lot of ways. What's, uh, obviously, there was a team effort on, on Dame, and you guys had some double teams and traps and everything, but Andrew still, again, draws that initial uh, assignment. Just how, how do you think he did? How, you know, again, how much do you see this kid grow with every assignment like that he gets? Yeah, I mean, to be honest, I did not know Andrew could guard like this when he got here. Um, you know, he's guarding the best player every night, him and Aaron, and they're doing a great job. Um, you know, them two being able to do that defensively uh, allows us to open open things up. Um, you know, my biggest thing is they just got to stop fouling sometimes. You got to keep them on the floor because they do a really good job of making it hard for people to score. Um, you know, so uh, they just got they keep doing that every night. Uh, and like I said, this is a lot a group of guys who have bought into their role, who, who completely understand that. And um, they know offensively the ball is going to come to them. Um, you know, but defensively, you know, obviously Miles is our anchor under the paint, under under the hoop. But I mean, those two guys are our point of attack defenders, and they do a great job at it. And we got a lot of different guys who contribute in different ways. And um, you know, I think th those two two are really helping us right now. To that point on Andrew, why do you think maybe it hasn't been too much for him to essentially draw the toughest assignment for you guys each night as a, as a newcomer to this league? Uh, I, I mean, I think when we drafted him, right, it was like you knew he was going to, like he's poised, right? Like he's a guy who, you know, was a starting point guard on a Gonzaga team that, you know, played in the Final Four one or two times like he's like he's prepared for this um you know we're the same age he's obviously played a lot of college basketball he's played a lot of basketball uh so guys like that when they get in the league they're they're ready to go right they're they usually are so uh it's just something you've seen in summer league he was ready to go and um you know so far in the transition to the nba for him has been seamless and he's been able to contribute in a lot of different ways he's moving from being a guy who you know has played point guard his whole life to being off the ball, you know, more with me on the floor. So um, and he's just doing a really good job of it and contributing in a lot of different ways. Where has James been most impactful in this locker room? Wow. I, I, in a lot of different ways, man. I, I can't – it's hard to say and, like, hard to put into, like, one sentence. 
Um, he's been awesome. He's been like really awesome. Uh, from the minute he got here, uh, first ever conversation, he's like, man, I got your back. Like, don't worry about anything. Um, and playing against James Johnson, I, I, I knew like, you don't mess with that guy. You know what I mean? So, uh, when he came here and said that to me, I was like, oh, all right, I'm good. Then. You know what I mean? I'm not worried about nobody. Uh, I got, I got him with me. Uh, he's been great for a lot of different guys. He's a the ultimate hype man for everybody in that locker room, coaches included. Uh, he just wants to see everybody succeed. Obviously, he's played a lot of years in this league. He's done a lot. Of, he's been a lot of, around a lot of great players. Um, I think anybody who's been his teammate in the past would have a lot of positive things to say about him. But uh, he's been awesome for me, um, you know, because I think he challenges me, you know, because he's seen he's seen it up close. He's seen he was with D Rose, you know, in those first couple of years when he's going to be MVP. He was with KD, with um, you know Kyrie, James, all those guys. So he's been around great players, and he challenges me to to be one of those, and um, it means a lot because you know it's one thing for you know a GM to say something coach and remember to say something it's a whole nother one for you know you know your teammate has a lot of trust in you uh he's been like a big brother to me uh, just really appreciate having him and i'm looking forward to having him you know for the rest of the year and um you know just a great person to have in my life for sure